Hey y'all, it's Imani here with another video. And in today's video, y'all, I am finally showing y'all my everyday makeup routine. Now this video is highly requested, so it's only right I gave it to y'all, period. I'm not really a soda drinker, a dark soda drinker, so that explains the faces. <laughs> but yes, I have some green contacts in. I don't know, I was just feeling the vibe. I'm like, yeah, let me put some green contacts in, period. And I did already do my eyebrows because I am smoking while I do this video, period. We finna get lit. You see the whole wood. I had to show y'all I did not spark it because the last video, I started with half a blunt. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be a voiceover video. Um... I just really wanted to just get lit last night and just do my makeup. And that's what I did. The face came out real beat. Um, I would say this not really a every single day beat. Like, I really went ham. I'm not even going to lie. But especially with the concealer. But anyways, we're going we gonna to get to that point. But yeah, it came out dramatic. But this is all the steps I use and the same products I use for my everyday makeup routine. <laughs> I really wish y'all could hear the music that I was listening to this whole time. Like, I put my Apple Music on shuffle and what? They was playing bangers back to back. But yeah, y'all could just watch me get lit. Also, I'm not going to be saying the shades of everything because everything is literally in my vanity downstairs. As you can see, it's right behind me. But um, yeah, I just don't feel like going to go get it. So I'm going to just put it in the description box and we finna get started. <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys what I used on my brows, but I used my Maybelline brow pencil. I believe it's called like the Precise Brow Pencil. It's really, really thin. And I used that to fill in my brows. And now I'm taking the e.l.f. Hydrating um, Concealer in about three shades lighter. I just like my brows to stand out. Um, not necessarily halo brows. That's when you put the concealer on top of your brows too. But I use foundation for the top of my brows. I'm just using the concealer for the bottom and right now i'm just flattening out my concealer brush with some eyelash glue that helps you to get a real clean um brow Now I'm going to be taking my Clinique Even Better Clinical Foundation. I love this foundation so much. I mix it with my NARS foundation, but y'all see um, in a minute. And I take that and I clean up the top of my brow so that it wouldn't create that halo brow effect like I was telling you guys. Before I put on any type of foundation, I always go in with my micellar water and some cotton rounds and I just cleanse my face. I already did it, as you can see, real glowy. Um, and I also put on my Pond's moisturizing cream. I used the dry skin one. It's in the blue um, container. But yeah, everything will be in the description in detail. But yeah, that's what I use to prep my face because after this little session, I'm about to start putting on foundation.
thing about me i blend 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 a lot so i'm gonna just speed this process up because i will be blending for ages Now right here, I just put too, too, too much concealer on, but it all came out cute. I just put too much on. Um, I normally wouldn't put this much on every day, but um, it came out nice, like I said. And I just put it in the areas where I want it to appear more brighter, which will of course be under my eyes. Um, I do draw this line as I, you see, as I apply it underneath my eye going up just to give it that, you know, facelift and then i also place some above my top lip my chin and then kind of underneath where my contour will go um i'm not really contouring my face i don't contour my face every day but i am going to go in with a bronzer and yeah that's just where i put the concealer at y'all this pink real techniques brush i believe it's their setting brush it is my favorite brush ever like it just gets the job done it does what needs to be done it gives what it needs to give okay I also set my eyelids with the banana powder as well or the brightening powder whatever one you want to call it it's called brightening in the palette but I use that to set the top of my lids as well um, just so it won't crease and make that you know the little line then you have to go back in and blend that all over again with concealer so no you go ahead and set that right then in there period as you said underneath your eye <laughs> Now that same Morphe palette do have a contour shade in there, but I'm not using that. I'm using their bronzer shade and I'm just using that to deepen in parts of my face where I just went a little too ham with the brightening, the banana powder. <laughs> I just use bronzer for when I feel like a little washed out in some areas. That's when I just pick up my little angle brush and cover up what needs to be covered up. <laughs> Thank you. 
Y'all, I was lit. I was tired, but here I go. I'm going back in with the setting spray. I'm using this Milani Make It Last setting spray. I remember that because I door dashed it. <laughs> if you didn't know, you can door dash on Walgreens. No, it's not a sponsored video, but yes, I know when you be running out of some products or even if you're a makeup artist and you just need something real quick, but you got a client come in and you can't go out to go get that product, you better door dash that off Walgreens, girl, or CVS because they for sure got it. But yeah, that mist had brought me back to life. And I don't know what I call myself doing. That hand isn't drying anything, but I mean, hey. Now I'm taking my Zaddy Glow highlighter and I never used a pigmented highlighter like this, like a loose pigment highlighter. So I was kind of scared. I didn't know how I was going to turn out looking, but it came out bomb. Like I said, this look did turn really dramatic, but whatever, it came out cute, period. For my lips, I'm taking this dark brown lip liner I got from my local beauty supply store. This is from Ruby Kisses. I believe it's in the shade dark brown. If not, like I said, everything will be in the description box. But I love this lip liner. It is just so bomb. It's so smooth. It don't, you know, when you draw in a pencil lip liner and sometimes it just be too tough. No, this glides on perfectly. And also I have a lot of different lip combos of affordable lip products, you know, NYX, Ruby Kisses, stuff like that. So if you guys want to see like a video of me creating different lip combos um, with inexpensive lip products, let me know because I got the combinations for y'all. I'm telling you. Now, recently for my trip, I just had on some lash extensions, but I ripped them all out. Yes, I ripped them out. I just couldn't do it. They were 25 millimeter and I just can't sleep in 25 millimeters. I went originally to get 17 millimeter, but she wanted to do something longer. So I was like, okay, go. Cool. They were so pretty, but I just couldn't sleep comfortably in it. I don't play about my sleep. So I took them out and now I'm just using these Amazon lashes. These are bomb. I use them for my clients. And yeah, they will be listed in the description box as well. Now, at this point, it was a lot going on. Um, I use tweezers. I do not use my fingers due to the fact that I have long old ghetto nails all the time. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but I do always have long nails, so I can never get that firm grip on my lash line like how I want to with my fingers. So I always use tweezers, but they were nowhere to be found. So I had to use my nails, my fingers, whatever. <laughs> Thank you.
right you guys so this is the final phase i hope you guys all enjoyed this video um if you stayed all the way to the end like comment and subscribe if you guys would like to see more makeup videos from me please let me know because i could do some dramatic faces for y'all this is just a little everyday little glam but i can get into the cut creases the liners the rhinestones all that period follow my makeup page at amore on the b follow me on instagram imani amore and yeah see you guys later bye